Hello everybody, we're here with foster mom TL and her two little puppies for adoption through Southern Comforts Rescue. TL, how about you introduce us to these two little pups you've got? This one is Onyx. They're about 12, 13 weeks old. And this is Grayson. Now the mom was a wire-haired terrier, have no clue what the dad was. But something tells me there was a chihuahua in the mix. <laughs> yeah, especially little Grayson yeah. has that little apple-headed chihuahua look to him. And he is tiny, isn't He's he? He's very tiny. When they were born, they were, um, let's see, Grayson was about three ounces. Oof. And Onyx? Onyx was about five. Okay, almost twice the size. Uh -huh. and, and now that's playing out to be almost twice the size yeah, as yeah. well. He's and, almost three pounds and he's almost two. And Mama Noel came to you uh, full term pregnant, oh, yeah. rescued from a shelter, and gave birth at your house, didn't yeah. she? December 23rd. Right. Yeah. Hence the name Noel for Mama. Yeah. <laughs> and she's a, Mama's a very, very sweet dog, isn't she? Oh, definitely. I know I helped transport her and got to hang mm -hmm. out with her. Very sweet, very loving dog. So they have that good genetic line of, of a nice temperament in their mom, don't they? Yes. Okay. So they've been with you their entire lives, so you know them better than anyone. Um, what are they like around the house? Um, you know, they're kind of like with each other that we'll get brave. If you start getting brave, I'll come uh -huh. with you. You know, they, they, they so, care of So they're the type that look to someone else for, for guidance? Yeah. They're, they're both followers and so they follow each other. Yeah. How are they with the other dogs? I, I don't let them around the big dogs just okay. because of their size. Right. But, uh, I've got a little... Mexican hairless that weighs about thir you know, three or four pounds and she wants to play with them so bad. Okay. So they've been pretty much with by themselves yeah. through their puppyhood. Okay. Well it's probably time they could probably start playing with some of the yeah. the well, older dogs now that they're a little more mature. It's always a concern with such tiny, tiny puppies that we want to make sure nobody yeah, gets absolutely. hurt. Nobody gets stepped on by a big dog, anything like that. <laughs> okay. I do really want them to go together. Okay. Simply because they were born together. Right. They've never been a whole part. life together. They are bonded together. Yeah. Plus, they're so small that it's still less than having one dog <laughs> inside. Plus, one tiny little mouth and get two tiny little mouths. Right, right. So, how are they with Mama Noel? Uh, they have been weaned. Okay. She, in fact, she's at her new home. Okay, so Mama East. got adopted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there, it's really time for these two to get their forever it's, home. It's their time. Yeah. 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 It's your time to have a new feed. Okay. Well, how about we let the puppies down on okay. the grass and they can run around and play. You can interact with them and we'll, I'll just follow them around and see how they act when they're yeah, free they range. They wanted the cookies. That's good. <laughs> Is that a good cookie? Grayson, you like that cookie? It's almost as long as you are. <laughs> Onyx is busy chewing away. <laughs> you two ready to get down and run around? Here we go. Where's your monkey? They're following foster mama. The There's the monkey. There's a monkey. It's a monkey. Oh, it's a monkey. <laughs> Where's the monkey? Get that monkey. I know we had a good stick that we would I know they're very bonded to you, I can see that. They so they, they do like their people, don't they? Yes, we love peoples. He loves our peoples. So, the type of home that we're going to be looking for for these two? Probably no small children. Just um, because these two are so tiny that they can yeah. easily be hurt unintentionally by a small child. Yeah. 
Okay. And, and if you adopt two, you don't need a third dog. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> if you have another small dog, that's fine. Yeah. And of course, you want somebody who has a lot of time to spend with them because they are so people oriented. And they're going to need, you know, puppy guidance, puppy training. Right. They're doing great with their piddle pads. Good, good. If they don't chew them up. And sometimes with tiny, tiny breed puppies, people don't tend to train them enough when they're little. Yeah. They let them get away with too much. And so we want people that are good at uh, sticking to the guidelines that a puppy should follow as they mature. Yeah. Because they're so stinking cute. They, they are. So stinking cute. They can con you into getting away with everything. All right, T.L., well, thank you very much for introducing us to your two foster pups. We're sure the Forever family is watching that would love to have these two adorable puppies in their lives. So please contact us, and we will get right back with you. Thanks for watching.